Hi, I'm Jim Pasquin from BSM Technologies. I'm here to show you some pointers on after doing an install and you're still not getting any connection to the, to the product. Uh, basically what would I would do is go back to the vehicle again and uh, revisit all your install points. So for example, I would start with your basic uh, grounds, constant power and your true ignitions. Uh, from that point, I would check those. Once those check out to be all valid, then I would go to the antennas where they're placed on the vehicle and make sure that they're all, all mounted properly. And then from that point, I would be checking the box to check all the connections to the box to make sure that they're all correct. And then from that point on, if that uh, checks out all good, I would go to the lights and use them as a diagnostic uh, part of the, of the validation of the GPS unit. If you're not getting any GPS from the, from the vehicle, the best thing to do is look at the box and you can use the lights as a diagnostic uh, diagnostics. You look at the amber top left corner light and if it needs to be blinking. And if it's not blinking, the best thing to do is check the connections of the antenna that plugs into the box, which is over here. You look at that connection, you validate that that is good. If that is good, then you come over here to, to the vehicle and what you have is your GPS antenna, which is here, and this needs to be placed somewhere horizontally, line of sight, either on top or underneath the, the, the dash, providing the dash is plastic. You do not want any metal around the, on, around the antenna, nor you do not want to place the antenna near any motor devices and also keep it away from the wipers. They, they may interfere with the GPS signal. After I brought you through all the steps of checking the GPS antenna connections and the placements and you're still getting no valid GPS, the best thing to do is give a call to our support line and we will be more than happy to help you uh, troubleshoot the issues that you're having. If you're interested, check out my other videos on diagnostic procedures.